hello guys once again welcome back to another android application development tutorial in this video here i am going to show you how to place a home button on each activities app bar so that the user can go back to the home screen with a single click for example if there are n number of activities are available in your android application then the user need to click the back button n minus one time for get back to the home screen that is not a good programming practice because it affect overall user experience of your application so we can place a button on <coughs> each activity so the user can click that button in order to get back to the home screen so here is a simple example so here we have an activity called the first activity this is the main activity of this application so in that activity we have a button for start second activity so this is the second activity now there is another activity called the third activity so in this application we have three activities are available so if the user need to go back to the home screen in this case the user need to click the back button two time for get back to the home screen so this will affect overall user experience of your application so the better solution for this you have to place a home button on each activity <coughs> rather than the main activity so here the main activity is the first activity so there is no need to place a button on the first activity so here instead of toolbar uh, these are sorry instead of the uh, native action bar here i place a toolbar so i will show you the android studio project so this is the android studio project this is the main activity layout file so here instead of the native toolbar here sorry native action bar here i place a toolbar so here we have a separate layout for the toolbar this one is the toolbar layout and this is the second activity layout here also i place the toolbar and this is the third activity layout here is the toolbar so in this project <coughs> instead of the native action bar here i add toolbars so now here I am going to show you how to place a home button on the toolbar in order to get in order to enable the upward navigation for the user. So the first thing we have to enable a home button on the action bar. So first here I am going to add the home button for the second activity. So here we have the three activity. First activity is the main activity or the parent activity so there is a no need of a button for the first activity but we need a home button for the second activity so here i open second activity so here i set the toolbar as the supported action bar so now here i am going to get a handle to the supported action bar from the toolbar so first create an object of action bar so get support action bar so this method will return a support action bar from the toolbar so now on the action bar object here i am going to call a method called the set display home as enabled and i pass two for it so this will add a particular home button to the activity so we can check it out so i run the project again so now we can go to the second activity so here we have a home button available but we have to add a parent for the activity we didn't put the parent for the activity so now we can add the same thing for the <coughs> second activity also for the third activity so now here i open the third activity here also i put the same set of code okay so now we place the home button for the second and third activity so now we need to specify the logical parent for these two activities inside the manifest file so open android manifest.xml so here we have three activity this is the main activity and here we have two activities second and third activity so in order to specify the logical parent of the activity you have to specify an xml attribute called parent activity name so here the parent activity is the first activity so this attribute the parent activity name support from android version 4.1 and above so if your app support android version lower than 4.1 you have to add a metadata field 
so first we can close the activity so within the activity tab you have it to specify a metadata field for android version lower than 4.1 so here you have to specify the attribute in the form of a key name value pair so specify the name so here the name is now uh, this one android.support.parent activity okay now we can specify value for it with this first activity so we specify the parent activity for the second activity now we can specify the same thing for the third activity so parent activity is first activity uh, here also we need to specify metadata for android version lower than 4.1 okay so now we finished coding now we can test it so i run the project again so this is the main activity there is no button on the main activity so now i open second second activity so in second activity we have a home button available so by clicking that one now we can move it to the main page so now i go to the third activity so in third activity also we have home button on the up bar so by click that button <coughs> the user can directly move it to the home screen so this is how we place a home button on the up bar of your android application i hope you understand the concepts for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode